Ladies and gentlemen, I have just been handed this very important information that not only was The Last Jedi trending on Twitter on Sunday, but when people tried to be negative about the movie, fans actually came to its defense. Are you sure this is right? I mean, because like if it is, like this will be a day long remembered. R2, did you hear about this? We got to talk about this next here in the Poindexter Lounge. What's up, nerd family? Welcome once again to the Point Extra Lounge. My name is Enosh, aka Enosh Fett, and it is good to be here back in the lounge with you back in the toy room. It is always good to be here, and it's good to be here, especially with you. And if this is your first time to the lounge, welcome. Hey, come on in, put your feet up, have a good time, have, have an ice cold beverage, and and uh, just sit around and we can talk toys. We can talk uh, fun stuff because that's what the Point Dexter Lounge is. The Point Dexter Lounge is a place for nerds. It's a place where you and I and all my friends can get together and talk about the things that we love. Things like TV shows, movies, games, sci-fi, fantasy, comic books, superheroes, toys, and so much more. And if those are things that you like, hey, you found the right place. That's right. It took you long enough to get around the internet to find this place. But now that you found it, don't let it get away. Don't let it get outside the grasp that you have on it. Hit that subscribe button now. Go do it now. Hit that subscribe button and also that notifications bell because that notifications bell is going to open up a magical world where you're actually notified, hopefully, depending upon the algorithm. You're, hopefully you'll be notified of when we do stuff here at the channel because we do all kinds of fun stuff. Obviously, we're uploading videos constantly and we also do live streams uh, that are interactive. We have call-in shows where you guys can interact with us and come on here and actually tell us what you guys want to talk about and the nerd things that you love. We do toy reviews. We do watch parties. We do all kinds of fun stuff if it's nerd-related we cover it. And so we want you here. So please do those things. Also, if you like this, give us a thumbs up. Just, just let us know that you like it. It also tells YouTube that. And so that brings in more people to be a part of this as well. And then of course, the greatest compliment that we can ever get here on the channel is if you share one of our videos. Uh, that being said, thank you. Thank you for being a part of the Point Dexter Lounge. And uh, if you have been subscribed, if you've been a longtime subscriber, thank you. We are all, we're on our way to 10,000 subscribers, folks. We're like right there. And so we need you to help us. And so uh, come on board. All right. Well, today, 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 we're talking about something. I, I never thought that I would I would be doing a video uh, about that. I, I take that back. Um, I, I actually have uh, I've, I've long said that, you know, I know that that people feel very strongly about the sequel trilogy. And I get that. And one thing you need to know about, about me, if you don't know it already, if it, from being around here, if you're new, uh, just know this, I, we welcome everyone. We welcome all opinions here in the lounge. Uh, and so if you don't like the sequel trilogy, that's fine. We still love you, right? I mean, if, you, if you're a Star Wars fan and you don't like the sequels, I get it. I understand they're not perfect movies. They're, they're, they're flawed. They're, but all Star Wars movies are flawed. Uh, but we still love it. We still love it. And so that's why we, uh, we've got t-shirts that say hashtag I love Star Wars and, and things like that. Because we're just talking about the things that we love about uh, the entire saga and, and all the movies and all the cartoons and all, you know, everything, but everything is not going to be perfect and everything is not necessarily going to be our favorite thing. Um, but that being said, I mean, I think people forget sometimes that th there was a time not long ago where the prequels were very, very hated where they took, I mean, a, as, as much at least, uh, flack as the sequel trilogy has taken, uh, you know, recently. And so it's a, it's a really interesting dynamic, but, um, you know, I I've said it for a while, just like the prequels now have found a resurgence because the kids who grew up with the prequels are now growing up. And those are the, 
Star Wars stories that they grew up with. And so now they have a connection to those movies. And, and maybe those of us who are around for the original trilogy, uh, we may not understand that, you know, we understand it as a fandom, but we don't understand it necessarily uh, with the same passion that they do. And so now the, the prequels have received this just uptick in, in love over the last uh, couple of years for, for certain. And that's great. And that's fine. Uh, but then there's, I believe that in the next few years, you're going to see the exact same thing with the sequel trilogy right now. I understand there's people who are just gunning for it. There's people, you know, obviously the stories that have been out, you know, that Disney was going to retcon it and that that's not going to happen. I mean, there's, there's just too much involved in it. We, we did a video about that. Uh, but that being said, come 10 years from now, these kids who grew up with the sequel trilogy are going to start growing up and they're going to have memories especially the more that these movies are played on tv and in different media forms and stories are expanded upon you know in in all different forms of media people are going to connect with those things uh more and so you're going to see more positivity out of it and then there's going to be something else that comes along that we're going to all hate or whatever and people are going to be passionate about and, and not like you know and so just just wait a minute there'll be something else to not like trust me uh but that being said this weekend something interesting happened because this it kind of came a little sooner than uh sooner than i thought uh so uh this this last weekend apparently the last jedi started trending uh and uh when it started trending, there were people who were uh, who were very much uh, against it, as, as usual. You know, uh, there, there's always going to be those who who jump on it and and are upset about the uh, the sequel trilogy for sure. But but let's read this this article here from uh, comicbook.com. Uh, it says Star Wars: The Last Jedi trends again as fans jump to its defense. And this is this is fascinating to me. This is another day, another attempt by Star Wars, The Last Jedi haters to tear the movie apart online. Yesterday, uh, Sunday, the second movie in the Star Wars sequel trilogy started trending on Twitter. At first, the top tweets were mostly negative reactions to the Ryan Johnson film. However, all bad reactions were quickly overshadowed by an outpour of love for the movie. While there will always be people who dislike certain films, no matter how good or bad uh, or well-received, the people who don't like Johnson's movie continue to be the most vocal 2.5 to two and a half years after its release. Their consistency uh, even got a hilarious shout out this se on this season of Harley Quinn. Uh, the two guys were wearing uh, T-shirts. Uh, one said Snyder Cut. Once that uh, talked about The Last Jedi, uh, but it says, unfortunately for The Last Jedi haters, the fans of the films are even louder. Now, this is this is fascinating to me because, uh, folks, we have been in a situation where uh, it's been the exact opposite. The the people who don't like The Last Jedi have been very vocal. Now, I've said all along, I love The Last Jedi. It's just a movie that I connect with. I understand. I get it. And that's that's me. Um and I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I get I get Star Wars. Trust me, I live Star Wars. If you don't know already, our entire house. I'm I'm married. I've got I've got three three boys. We all love Star Wars. We live Star Wars. Star Wars is my life uh, here in this house, and uh, it's throughout the entire house. We all collect Star Wars. Uh, our living room is filled with Star Wars. Obviously, I got this, the the toy room. I I know the movies inside out. Obviously, I've read books, and you know and I'm not new to the franchise is what I'm saying. And I love the last Jedi. And I, and I proudly say that you may not understand that and that's fine. Uh, but uh, everybody gets something different out of them. And, and I love having conversations with people about the last Jedi. And at the end of the day, I respect them and I hope that they respect me, but, uh, but this is an interesting take. Uh, and so uh, let's, uh, let's read here some more of, of what this uh, has to say. 
So it says, last night, Star Wars The Last Jedi even sparked a spinoff trend for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, uh, which wasn't nearly as well received. But for some reason, those who didn't like it are much less passionate about their hate. In fact, the trend seems to have already circled back to The Last Jedi, which continues to be a topic of discussion today on Monday. As chatter about the movie continues to grow, so do the positive tweets. You can check out uh, some of the best posts below. And so so let's check out this. So uh, here is uh, somebody. This is Hammy at, at Balanced Padawan says all of us entering the chat when we see The Last Jedi trending. And uh, we got this. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, it's fun. So that's fun. Uh, somebody else here says uh, the Star Wars Holocron says uh, the writing, the directing, the acting, the cinematography. The Last Jedi is a masterpiece. And here with with various photos uh, from the movie. Uh, here's somebody else. This is also uh, at Balance Padawan says the Last Jedi tra uh, trending two years after release like the queen she is. And it just had the opening crawl. Uh, here, the last Jedi's brilliance, brilliant use of Ray and Ben having the same fighting style will always be one of my favorite details. And here you got the, uh, the, the pointing and, and showing off their skills. And, and, and this is, that's something that's really cool. I think a lot of people like they, they miss, they, they don't, they didn't see that, but it's, it's right there. And so those are cool things. Uh, people saying, thank you, Ryan. The last Jedi had three separate plot threads hit their peak at the exact, exactly the same moment, aligning and resol resolving them all with Laura freaking Dern, making it the most spectacularly dazzling shot in the saga, uh, steeped with symbolism, screenwriting mastery. Ryan gave the girls everything. Now, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, now this, this is a very cool, uh, cool scene. Uh, obviously. Uh, in there. Um, I'm not going to show that, but uh, it is a cool scene. Um, I have a little bit of a problem with, with that scene. Cause I don't think that uh, Ad vice Admiral Holdo had to die. You, you just, you just put a, a droid on there and, and let it go. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, the greatest teacher failure is Luke. Uh, we are what they grow beyond. That's the true burden of all masters. The last Jedi is God tier. I swear. And I, I love that statement in the movie that we are what they grow beyond the greatest teacher failure is. And that is so true. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we miss that so many times. Uh, here's, here's somebody else is the last Jedi truly gave us the best acting in any star Wars movie. Uh, just a lot of positive stuff here. Um, uh, you know, the, the, the character of Rose Tico just, not really given a lot to do and not, not as important. I think as some people make her, make her out to be or want her to be. Uh, I like this one here, Ryan Johnson, me, when I see the last Jedi is trending. And so just, you can see here a lot of positive stuff. This one is my favorite. I, I retweeted this one and I actually added to it. Uh, this one, uh, it says Ryan Johnson after making the last Jedi, uh, the best star Wars movie of all time. It's the scene from back to the future. He says, I guess you guys aren't ready for that. As Michael J. Fox says, Marty McFly's, I guess you guys aren't ready for that. Uh, but uh, it goes on and says, but your kids, your kids are, uh, are going to love it. And so uh, I, I love that here, but your kids are, are going to love it. Whoops. And so uh, I, that, that to me is a, is a great one. Uh, I actually answered that one with, uh, with the next line was, uh, you know, Hey, you know, that exciting, amazing movie that you were looking for. We'll take a look at this because uh, to me, the last Jedi uh, does really does just does a really great job of, of telling the story of, of getting it out there of uh, bringing so much together. And I, I resonate with it. I, I, I actually love how it brings in Luke, but here you don't have to agree with me and that's fine. And that's fine. But I needed to share this because we don't get enough positivity. I think sometimes uh, in the, in the fandom for uh, especially the sequel trilogy. And so I get it. If you don't like it, uh, you know, don't hate me. All right. Don't hate me because, because I do like it. Uh, you know, let's not hate each other. Let's not, let's not, you know, bully each other, go up against each other, either, either side. Okay. Let's, let's be good to each other. And I, I think that that's the important thing is that we're good to each other as, as fans. And we realize we don't have to agree on everything. And I understand there's some people who very, uh, 
who are very serious when they say that they can't stand the movie. And, uh, you know, and I'm sorry that, that you don't connect with this movie the way that I do. I really am. You know, I mean, I don't say that sarcastically, you know, or to put anybody down. It, I, I wish that everyone was able to connect with the movie that the way that I am now, the rise of Skywalker brings up an interesting po uh, point because the rise of Skywalker, I don't connect with the rise of Skywalker the same. Uh, but I do connect with it with uh, The Last Jedi. Uh, I, I like The Rise of Skywalker now, but it's not my um, it's definitely not my favorite movie of, of, of the saga. Now, here's here's something uh, else that is uh, that is interesting. I, and I just noticed tonight while I was prepping for this video. And uh, that is that uh, Return of the Jedi is actually uh, trending. And there's a lot of people on Return of the Jedi right now, and of course, uh, Revenge of the Sith. So, so there's uh, there's a lot of cool uh, cool stuff going on right now for Star Wars. And so, I encourage you to show your support for, support for Star Wars. Show always show your love for Star Wars. Hashtag I love Star Wars. You can actually find those shirts in our uh, merch store, and those links are in the description below. What do you guys think? I mean, uh, if you're uh, if you're anti. Uh, you know, the last Jedi, are you willing to allow other people to, to, to like it? Is that okay with you to let them have this moment? You know, let me know down in the comment section. All right. And also, uh, hit me up on social media because uh, I love having conversations with everybody on social media. It is so much fun. I have so many friends here on social media that uh, are part of the, the point extra lounge. And we talk all throughout the week about star Wars, about superheroes, about all, all kinds of fun stuff. And, uh, I'd love to include that with you. So uh, please, all those description, all those are in the description below. Also, thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. I love you guys so much. You guys, I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. So uh, the Patreon is there. We would love to have you be a part of that. That helps us uh, keep things going and and also uh, to keeps us to uh, update our systems. And thank you also to everyone who gives in our live streams via via super chats and things like that. Um, we just love it. So real quick, before I let you go, don't forget, we are giving away another comic book this week. We give away a comic book every week to some lucky fan. And uh, here is a little bit of information about that. Hey there. Do you consider yourself nerdy? Oh, I hope so. And if you don't mind, I'm going to talk nerdy to you for just a second. We've got some free comic books to give away here on the channel. That's right. One of these comic books could have your name on it. All you got to do is answer our nerd question of the week. It's very simple. The nerd question of the week brought to you by the Miley Store on eBay. That's right. The Miley Store on eBay. Yeah, they've got all kinds of great products for you to enjoy. And yes, some are even nerdy. All you got to do is click their link in the description below and answer our nerd question question of the week this week's question what superman fan was the inspiration for the character of steel that's right what real life superman fan was the inspiration for the character of steel let us know answer it down in the comment section of any one of our videos this week and your name could be picked from the correct answers for a chance to win one of these great comic books that's right green arrow could be looking right back at you with his pretty whites now let's get back to our video. So make sure to do that today. Answer the question down below and we pick a winner from all the correct answers. Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I always look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. So uh, come on, bring it on. Let's talk about Star Wars, The Last Jedi and how we all feel about it. And if you are one of those people who, who supported it on Twitter, thank you. I'm so glad that there are other people who, uh, who think like me and it's not always easy to do. And so uh, I love The Last Jedi. I love Star Wars in general. And uh, it's okay to like stuff. All right, guys. Until next time, my name is Enosh, a.k.a. Enosh Fett, saying be good to each other and may the Force be with you. Stay nerdy. See you next time. Bye-bye.